Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, y'all. Uh, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. You know, y'all, the more I sit back and I uh, think about and have the numbers with all the lawsuits that each and every one of these cities have paid out because of the irresponsibility of their police department killing black and brown people, the number is mind-boggling. It's absolutely mind-boggling. And to think if we could have just half of the money to pour back into the mental health into these communities and back into the um, uh, 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 operation of trying to implement justice, just think if we had some of those funds back as opposed to stockpiling weapons, stockpiling weapons to turn on its own citizens. And in my opinion, that's what America is doing right now. So good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you, whatever side of the diaspora that you may be on. Let's have the conversation. Okay. Uh, like I said, at this point, I don't know how many Breonna Taylors, how many Dante Wrights, how many Walter Scotts, uh, the list goes on and on. Emmett Till, how far you want to go? We can just go on and on and on and on because most of us who use this part of our brain know that the slave catcher and the police departments and how they're operating are one and the same. It's just an, a so-called evolvement. Um, but we are who they get to try out their weapons on. We are who they get to perpetuate all their hostility on if they go home and they had a bad day with their kids or their wife. You know, they can know they can go into the black neighborhoods and shoot a couple black people with immunity. Uh, impunity, I'm sorry. Um, and business will go on as usual. And that's how it's been going on for century after century. We got video cameras and people think that they're sh uh, shooting us more. Uh, and maybe, I, I mean, I, I can't agree or disagree with that. I just think now that we have cameras and we get to see, because it's even more. It's, it's just more and more and more because racism and hatred is so ingrained in the fabric of America that it's no way of getting around it. You can't stay here under these circumstances and not fight back. I mean, we have gotten, we're so messed up at the point now and fear has permeated our natural responses to the point where we don't even respond naturally. We, we, we sit back and we keep continuing to uh, 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 um, think we have no alternative to people who work and go home to families just as we do and they become civilians and we're not able to um, understand how this works. We, we're not able to sue them we, well, we're not able to hold them accountable in any shape, form, or fashion for murder our children and our adult folk that are black and brown. My mainly concern right now is for black bodies right now because I know we're losing black bodies at a rate that is just enormous. It's just it's almost like we target practice for everybody, you know, and unfortunately, unfortunately, I'm still trying to figure out what is going to be the catalyst like it was in the 60s where we all say no more. I hope it's George Floyd. But as y'all can see, what happened to Dante Wright? In the middle of a trial about a police with a police officer who snuffed the life 
out of a human being on camera for the world to see. And these things are so bold. These subhuman are so um, personality disordered. I keep trying to come to grips with the institutions that are flying monkeys. I'm trying to come to grips with a system that is just white supremacy is narcissistic behavior. It's the narcissist that will do anything to get its way. It is the projection with blood dripping from your hands and you can say, no, it wasn't me. Blood dripping. It's the psychosis of the very fabric of America that they've gotten us to buy into. And nobody evaluates how psychotic the people that run this place is and are. Because you know we don't run it, right? We may have given it life, but they... And they brought us over here to work it in 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 bring it alive as a country. But just like Fox News, when they got done with all the black shows, and once we built that channel up, look how it became. Look at look at it now. Nobody would ever believe that Fox, when it first started, was very um African American or uh, or black orientated it had all the uh, black shows, and now look at it. Fox was a joke. They purposely set out and changed the mantra to make to be racist. It was their focus, their target, to mislead people with propaganda. That's why they, when you watch it, you if, if you're a fair, open-minded individual, you can't even help but turn it off because nobody is objective. Nobody. And the very few that were on there that were, you see they gone. And this is how it is in America. We got all these flying monkeys, institutions, that's what I call them, because they keep perpetuating white supremacy. Okay? the legislative body, the government body, you got all these people that are clearly seeing what has happened and what has happened to black and brown bodies, but they don't want to do anything about it because we breathe life into this thing. They got our bodies in the prison industrial complex. They got us in the system, right? So look, look at how it go. Look, 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 look at how they're running it. And again, I don't know about y'all, but I can almost taste and smell the scent of extinction for us as black people. And um, those of us who consider ourselves uh, knowing we we got to figure out, you know, the exodus now. Like Harriet Tubman. Like Moses. Like all the other great leaders and people we think to. It's time for us to love each other enough to say enough is enough. Either we're going to bust back or we got to get out of here. Because these people have no intentions on letting us live. And I really, truly feel that in my heart. I feel that uh, the ones of us that are going to be less are going to be the ones that are zombies. Pretty much zombies that they created. I don't want to be in that group. So all I'm saying is for those of y'all who want to know what my strategy and my plan is and what we're talking about, uh, y'all have to hit me up on my email because all that stuff is in the lower description because we're making moves over here. And there's like six families that would take, uh, taking, well, we'll talk about that. And, um, but I really want to know how y'all feel about 
our future here in America. I mean, how do y'all feel about it? Do y'all actually feel that we can go on this way? You, you, you know, do you think that it's just wash, rinse, repeat? And that now, because in my opinion, we're not even responding normally in most cases. We've got, we've normalized this kind of pain and brutality. And we keep being re-traumatized over and over and over and over again. And it's become a cesspool of madness. I can't help because the skin color I'm born in no more than you can. But if I'm going to be a target because of it, God knows I need to get some stress and some, I mean, some stress reliever and some peace in my life. So I hope that I've tamed this video down an awful lot compared to what I sent out um, the very first time. Uh, but I want y'all to know, I want y'all to hit me up and I want y'all to leave y'all honest responses below, please. What y'all think is going to happen? Can y'all, do y'all think we're going to be extinct? What would it be like to ask tech people? You know, is this like Marie Antoinette? Let them eat cake. <laughs> All the great empires. I don't know. Y'all think America has had a run in the sun? Because they did say the sun rises, sets, never sets on the British. No, never sets on the British Empire. Is that what it was? Look at them now. And so now we've been put in that position. And I don't know what to think about what's going on in America. So I need to hear some feedback from y'all. I really do. Because my heart is fixed and my mind is made up. I already know what's going on. So to all my subscribers out there, I want to say, listen, hello. Some of y'all have been talked to for a while. Um, even on a personal level, Africa, some of my, um, loyal listeners that I haven't had a chance to talk with, um, we all got to keep in touch with one another to, to, to see what, what is up. We got to unify. We got to understand that this is the last hurrah. Beanie. Um, what is that? Uh, corner well, 187 or something like that. All of y'all out there, I appreciate you. I thank you. But why don't y'all participate too and let me know what y'all think about this? So let's just make this an icebreaker question. That's what I'll do. Tell me. Do y'all think black people are going to survive the next 10 years like this and keep having no response to murder? Um, what's your thoughts on that? So let me know. If you like what you hear, like, subscribe, and share. I'm trying to keep that as generic as possible. Don't want no video demonetized and flagged. So if you like what you hear, please subscribe and please share the video. And I'm going to see you in the next video. And I'm going to edit that other one because I'm certainly going to put those that one up.